Hi there, this is Andrew from Hot Tub Focus and today's video is answering the question about, well, why do your chlorine levels keep dropping in your hot tub? Um, and the good news is that to a certain extent, uh, well, all the time, chlorine will decay. It does decay. Um, so if you have got dropping chlorine levels, that's a good thing. Um, essentially, when you put chlorine into your hot tub or you shock your hot tub, the chlorine level should be pretty high, sort of eight, eight to ten parts per million. Um, and it, at that point, it's really, really strong and it will kill all the bacteria and sanitize your hot tub water, making it clean and fresh for you to get into. However, you don't want to get into it at that point um, because the, the chlorine really, really will not be good for your skin um, and the, the chemical is just too high in the water. You need to allow it to decay. And the safe level is somewhere between is uh, three to four parts per million um, if you're get it, to get in the hot tub. So you must wait sure, wait sure and wait until the chlorine has decayed down to that level. So decaying, chlorine decaying is natural. If you just if you, after that it will sort of decay down to nothing, which is fine. Um, so the, the whole cycle of putting your chlorine in your hot tub actually should fit quite well with that natural decay. The best thing to do is to uh, shock or chlorine the hot tub after you've been in it, leave it overnight, um, let the chlorine levels decay um, and then check it before you get in again the next day for, 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 your, next, um, for your next soak and just make sure that the chlorine levels are three, three parts per million, three, four parts per million or below. Now if you can't get the chlorine level up high enough so it won't go up to eight and it's literally skyrocketing down after a, you know a few minutes and it can do that it should take take a few hours well take a couple of hours or so to get down or more but if you really can't keep your chlorine levels up then there's two possible problems the first one and most likely one is that your the ph levels of your water are not correct um, and this is, this is fundamental, particularly for chlorine. It's very, very sensitive to the pH, the pH range. So check that your pH range is absolutely correct, adjust as necessary, and really take your time over that to get it to the, into the correct level because if it's not, chlorine it doesn't really work. Or, or you have to put a heck of a lot more chlorine in if your pH levels are way out of kilter. Second thing might be that your water might just be absolutely filthy. It is possible that it's ready for a change. Check your total dissolved solids level. It might be that you've had a huge number of people in the hot tub. It might be that a lot of debris has blown in because you've had the cover off for a while. Could be all sorts of things. Somebody's gone in with um, a spray tan on. I don't know. Somebody's gone in with a load of shampoo in their hair or, you, you know, there's all sorts of possibilities. Drinks get spilt in it, water, um, food gets spilt in it. Kids in hot tubs, it's just a bad, just bad combination. Um, and, and there's just so much stuff in the water that the chlorine is just like fighting like mad to try and try and do it. And, 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 and it's getting used up really, really quickly. So it could be that. And you may just need to keep adding chlorine until the whole level sort of settles down. Or you might need to just change your water and be done with it. OK, well, I hope that gives you a bit of an introduction to the problem. There's a lot more detail in the blog post link below. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos. And I hope to see you again. Thanks then. Bye.